Everyone, um, this is Yanni, the only luckologist, um, and this beautiful sister in my chair is Lise. Well, at least I was showing people's name. <laughs> Those of you know me know I do that. Bad habit. Anyway, I'm sounding a little bit under the weather because I'm dealing with a wicked migraine right now. So you guys know that that's something that I've been battling since I was a child. So, but I'll be okay. Um, and today I want to talk about shedding and how not to panic. I have talked about this many, many times. In fact, she and I was talking about this um, when I met Lisa. Lisa. Lux was like, what is it, by your ears, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Now it's, it's down to her. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, I, I'm so proud of her, you know? When I met her, she um, she said me she's getting it done, I think like once a month or something. Yeah. Yeah, and we changed that because she has very fine texture here, you know? So I, I, she came, she sat for the consultation, and, and you guys who've met me in person, person always say, listen, listen, if you don't want to come back, fine, but I'm still going to tell you everything you need to know about your hair. So um, usually she comes two and a half, two two and a half months because of her job, but she took a, a break and I'm glad she did. And again, those of you who have met me always hear me say, if, um, if I think you're here shedding, I'll say, you know what, take her four months, take her five, six months, just leave it alone. Don't even let me touch it. You don't touch it, right? What is shedding? And I've gone through this before. Shedding is something you've been doing your entire life. It has nothing to do with luck. So you've been shedding every man, woman, and child. In fact, every species, every organic species on this planet shed in some form. Those of you who used to watch Geographic Explorers, so you see snakes shed their skin, birds, they call it mountain birds, shed their feathers, grow new feathers. It is natural. It has nothing to do with lux, okay? Um, so for us humans, we shed um, three ways. Every day you're shedding skin um, and hair. The average person loses 50 to 100 strands of hair in their head. That's everyday shedding. Even their eyelashes, just rubbing your eyes, rubbing your, scratching your skin, you're shedding hair. Right? Then you have seasonal shedding, where we shed in the spring and in the, in the fall. Right? Uh, that's not as bad. I have clients where every season they, I can see like, okay, you're shedding a little bit. Um, up your oil, drink a little more water, drink your moringa tea. I'll tell you how the moringa tea is going to help with your shedding, you know. But the main shedding is your hair does something called a cycle, right? Every four to six years, your hair grows like normal. Um, the average healthy person here grows four inches per year. You don't know if you're in that average, so please don't leave a, a little message saying, Does my hair grow four inches per year? I would not know that neither would you. Average, all right? <laughs> The average person here grows four inches per year. So your hair grows for four to six years, and then it's going to do something called a standing phase, where it just stands. It's not growing, it's not shedding, it's not doing anything, except your basic everyday shedding. I'm telling you, major shedding. Good. And then your hair sheds, and you're going to lose hair. For some people, they never notice it their whole lives. You're going to notice it more when you have locks, because look at your locks like braids, so it's sectioned. And then you're like, why am I here feeling so thin? I'm going to show you what I mean in a little bit. This is the time not to panic. This is the time to stop getting your hair done. Whether you're doing it yourself or somebody is doing it for you, you have to stop. I have discussed this with so many clients this week, and I said not everyone is going to tell you that. Even she was talking about the person she started with where, you know, even though the hair was falling off, you're still getting it done. This is new hair. This is rebirth. If you're snagging and you're pulling and you're yanking and you're styling it, the new hair, the new growth, the disrespectful hair you always hear me talk about in a complimentary way, you are going to yank it off. All right? Now, when she came, and her hair is just like mine, just so you guys know, I am shedding right now. Okay? You may feel this in the back of your head. And some people, their back is their weak spot. My back is my weak spot. Okay, the back of my hair always sheds, but this is what I'm talking about. You see this? This is her hair growing back from the shedding. Why? Because she left it alone. She didn't come to me and say, Yeah, you made my hair fall out. My clients who know me know y'all don't see me enough for me to pull your hair out. <laughs> you know what I mean, Lisa? Yes. Right. We don't see each other enough for me to pull anything. This is a, and she already knew what it was. Because you know, she and I are pretty cool, right? Yes. You'll find that some of your strands look like this. That's hanging on. This is not from over manipulation, not like that. But look what is around it. See all the fuzzies? 
good. You leave that. You don't go and get that pull and yank and twist and, and snatch. This is where you leave this because it's going to happen for about the shedding part. This big shedding she's going to go through is going to happen for, let's say, round it up to six, seven months, right? I'm going to see her again. She's going to take another four months off. By the time I see her, this whole back is going to be back to normal, right? See? So this is what shedding looks like. Panic. Now, they're shedding and your hair is being... Um, your hair is falling out or being snatched up. When your hair is being snatched up, she will not have all this fuzzy disrespect for new growth. It's going to look shiny like her forehead or like the back of my hand. Right? And you guys know what? There's a difference between shedding and when your hair is being over manipulated. Right? Even in the center here, see all that new growth? The reason how I know because none of it is attached to her locks. And her hair grows attached to her locks. So this is brand new hair that is growing out. What would she do? She leaves it alone. See? All right? Like notice, um, that's another area that's shedding. But look what is around it. Okay? So when I do her hair, which I don't do tight, everybody who knows me personally knows I'm actually very gentle, despite what you all think on the videos. I'm very gentle. This is what is going to go back into the lock. And then it's, the lock is going to go back to its natural size. In order to accomplish this, you have to leave it alone take your finger because look um this past couple of weeks i'm like i'm scratching my hair i like running my finger these through my hair it's like wait i have some luck feeling mad skinny and you guys know i do my hair like once a year that's up to me i wouldn't do my hair at all and i know my body you have to pay attention to your body listen to this i like oh i'm shedding i'm not panicking i'm not falling apart to the seams and, and look what i do for a living mm -hmm. right I'm just continuing doing what I do. This is a natural process. Like women seeing their period. It's <laughs> that's the best way I can see you understand what I'm saying? It's a natural process. We all every female or every healthy female has seen their period. When you see it come, you don't panic and oh my god, I'm bleeding out. You know it's gonna last for four or five days and then you'll be back to normal, you'll be back on the good foot. You have to look at it like that. And that's the best way I could put it because so many people have come, oh my god, I'm yeah, I'm they panic. And panic leads to bad decisions, right? Um, now, if you want to cut your locks off, fine. I don't say the C word. But she already knew what it was. And another thing to she was saying, you know, my job is a little stressful right now. That's another thing. This is a time you want to watch your stress level, right? Because you're just going to contribute to it, right? But um, she and I share notes on eating properly, exercising. She's a very healthy sister. So this is not, she's on no medication. Um, she doesn't have pre-existing medical condition. This is just plain shedding. You guys may not, and I'm not blowing up, blowing up, you know, blowing up my head or anything. The reason why I post these videos, you guys may not come across somebody like me that can detect. Oh, all right, you shedding. Hear what Michelle? Take a break. Hear what Kevin? Take a break. They're gonna continue taking your money. So when you sit down, feel your hair. If you know you have thick locks, and wait a second, it's getting skinny. It's like because you were shedding, and. To show you how you've been doing it your whole life, let's say you have locks all the way down to your butt, you will notice sections of your locks are really skinny. That was the time you were shedding. It just grew out. A lot of people come like, how come the middle of my locks skinny? I say, well, if the average person here grows four inches per year, and I'm averaging, you have locks down to your butt, somewhere around six years ago, you were going through something or you were just shedding, right? Because I have them. I could pull off my locks and show you there are parts of my locks that look skinny in the middle and then it thickens up why that could have been the time when i had my you guys know i had breast reduction surgery and last i had the fibroids taken out there's a lot going on so your hair tells the story right when this grows out this area is going to look skinny a little bit and then it's going to thicken back up based on how it looks in a, in a couple of months or so maybe at the end of the year i can take the locks off and put it back up on the thick parts but i may not even be able to may not need to do that because it's going to grow back Right, so all this, I hope you guys can see it with the light, because it's raining here, so it's dark outside. All this, see it fuzzy? Just feel it, just take your finger. And once you feel, like we said, we were saying this in the kitchen just now, once you feel fuzzy new here, praise the Lord, praise whoever you praise, right? When you don't feel that, that's when you panic, you know something is seriously wrong, this, that's not shedding, that is something else new growth and i tell people everybody come to me and they're like well my ends and i said listen let me stop that ends conversation one time nip that in the butt i'm not concerned with your ends your ends was once your beginnings you see this 
And those of you, I know who met, who met me in person, you all like listening. Yep, yeah, I need to be checking you quick with that and talk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see this right here? Because if I didn't open up her here, you all would have never known she was shedding. Look at it now. See how it looks healthy? Why? Because she has all that fuzzy, disrespectful new growth that's still growing. I just have to put the new growth back into the locks. Okay? Again, if you're going through this, this is the time you want to avoid getting your hair done. And please don't ask me what technique to use. Stop being obsessed with the technique. They are all bad for you here. If you're doing a technique too often, or you're doing it incorrectly, or you're doing it for yourself, or whatever the case may be, your hair is going to pop. Plain and simple, right? Leave your hair alone if you're shedding. Those of you who are thinking about it, just go through your hair today and say, wait a second. That crazy Trinidad and girl might have a point. I think I shed it. <laughs> right? Drink your water. Eat properly, more, more, more leafy greens, right? Remember, you always hear me say that the healthy hair starts from the inside, okay? So, I hope this sheds light. I hope this, this information, you know. And I like posting stuff like this because I want you guys to see, and this is a client who's been, been coming to me for a while, um, and I'm proud of her because I just told her, I said, finally, now I could be able to give her a lock back because <laughs> I could because her hair was so short, so now I could soak her hair. So next time she sees me, she's gonna. I'm gonna give you guys an update on this to show. All oh, right, it really. I hear really was shedding, you know. And look, all her fullness is still there. See? There you go. Now once you feel all that fuzzy, you're good. When you don't feel the fuzzies, that's when you panic. All right. Any questions? No, you said it's very helpful. Yeah. Just really don't panic. Don't panic. And, and feel free to share these videos. This is the best. And Lisa came in here so calm. Lisa, like, girl, look what happened. I was like, girl, you should. She's like, yeah, I figured that. And we go on talking about other things. She's talking about her dog, blah, blah, blah. We're not talking about that anymore. I said, oh, yeah, you're shedding. Because I just showed her my hair. I said, look, I'm going through the same thing. I'm not, because once you stress, another thing, so when I told her, you definitely don't want to be in front of the mirror every two seconds. Okay, okay, yeah, I need to say I'm shedding. Let me see if it's stuck. You cannot watch paint dry, you cannot watch grass grow. I'm, I've said that many times, and you guys know I'm very repetitive. Mm -hmm. Stop doing that. That's the type of stress that is going to slow down the process, all right? Just, you have, we have other things to be worried about, and stop being so obsessed with our when, hair. When too. will it be at the video? Oh, she's not going to come for another four months. She's going to do another four months away. I actually did this video before with another young lady. Um, damn, what's her name? Sydney um, from Long Island. And if you go down, you're going to see I actually have the pictures of where shit Sydney here had fell out. And I showed what her here. I was talking about how sugars, um, refined sugars like cupcakes and things, um, um, sweets and all of that, it creates inflammation in your body. And it actually creates more shedding in your hair. And if you go find that video, you will see a before and after with Sydney. In fact, the pictures are there showing how it was worse than this. Her whole back had gone. Mm. And yeah, it was worse. And she took six months. And when she came back, she too, also, but she's a nurse, also very health conscious. And she knew what it was, you know, and she trusted me. I said, oh, girl, you know what this is. Take a break. I'll see you in six months. Those of you who met me in person always hear me say, it's not about the money. Right, it find people that works like that. If somebody's telling you come often, or they're not giving you real answers, then that is a problem. If you have to do it yourself, fine. Because sometimes that is what you may have to do. Like you know what, I I keep getting the ring around, the run around. I'm sorry. Let me just do this myself. But if you're doing it yourself, do not do it often. Okay. Is that all right, so you guys have a blessed one. Feel free to share this video, and you can tag others. Is this video going to be on YouTube? Um, or is that, I'm sorry, is that video on YouTube? No, of course it's not on YouTube. This is live. What? No, I'm talking about the video of oh. the person <laughs> that had uh, a setting before. Oh, okay. The before and after video? No, it's on this. I haven't, that was not posted on YouTube. I post more on live videos um, than on YouTube, because I like the energy on, on, on live videos. YouTube makes me want to cuss people Val, out. Pepe, say Chinese. good morning. Good morning, Val. Oh, Val. Yeah, Val, you know, I was talking about My Val. 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 Oh, oh, Val. Okay, that's another person. Hi, Val. I know Val watching. Eventually, <laughs> Val is one of my best clients, but hi, Val. How are you? <laughs> what was it you were just putting in her hair? Oh, that's just a hot oil treatment, because I just washed her hair several times. You could mix a hot oil treatment. Are you that's ever going to come to Toronto? Ones. Toronto. I'm looking at that. Right now we're looking at Ghana first. We head into Ghana next. I'm gonna do a video on that because I wanna hook up with some Ghanaians mm -hmm. so we can do something over there. 
So I'm going to do a video on that so we could do something amazing. Rachel said, I love the quote, you can now watch paint dry. Yeah, you can't watch paint dry grass. And grass oh, people be coming and telling me, oh, I'm like, you really stand up in front of the mirror watching that? Like, you are even understand what your body's doing while you're sleeping? Mm -hmm. I have heard people so obsessed and I'm like... Yo, stop! And luckily, few of some of them I have changed the way they think, and they say, "Yanni, once I took my mind off of it, I'm like, take a basket weaver or something, crochet, do something." As I'm thinking about your day going here, it is not that serious. It's really not that. It is just here. It's not like your teeth when you lose it, it won't grow back. It your body re regenerates. It creates new cells. That's what she's doing right now. Her body is creating new hair cells, and she's just letting it do its thing. If you want to rush that process, another thing, another person, if she had gone to somebody else, you know what they would have said? They would have said, okay, let me wrap some, some forelocks around that. How the heck you can do that? It's going to make it too heavy, right? You definitely don't want, and because the problem is not the lock, it's the roots, because it sheds from the roots. It doesn't shed from the lock. So you just leave the root, the new growth, the baby here, your, your, your virgin here, whatever you want to call it. Just leave, look at all this beautiful here. And it's like, it's really soft. <laughs> it's really like baby here. I wish you guys can feel it. Like, for instance, look at this look. You see how that look it? She got into a fight and she in the club fighting bitches and shit. There's somebody with, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> you know I'm an ass. You don't want to have a headache. <laughs> right. If she was in the club twerking and fighting bitches, this was a done pop. The luck. And I'm, of course, you guys know I don't use coal. But look what is around the luck. And here's naturally fine. See how we just changed it? And I still didn't catch all of it. Look up, look what is around the lock. It just grew away from the lock. That's it. Look how that just changed. So as I said, I can't be more repetitive. Leave it alone. Leave it damn here alone. Leave it damn here alone. <laughs> That's the moral of the story. All right, you guys know I love you. Thanks to all the people who love my personality, my boisterousness, my Trini accent, my disrespectfulness, and the disrespectful t-shirts will be coming out soon. Team Disrespectful, I got your t-shirts coming out very soon. Mm -hmm. Your champ purchase, I know you all of you, some Team Disrespectful. For my team, people who got team here, I got something for you to don't worry. You don't need to be all Team Disrespectful. All right? <laughs> uh, but definitely, Lisa is Team Disrespectful. Mm -hmm. and usually she team tame but you got all this new growth <laughs> but yeah, her new growth grows with her locks but it's it brand new now we're growing away doing its own thing i say well, all right welcome to team disrespectful but she loving it though mm -hmm. you know and that's how look how this looking in the back you never know all that going on under her hair and for the sisters you know it's the best thing before i go put some rollers in here don't use um what you call it pipe cleaners mm -hmm. that's sponge ordinary roll. there you go see she knows mm -hmm. me so well <laughs> ordinary sponge rollers you got something to do spray some rose water I feel like my locks, my hair has stopped growing. What should I do? Uh, that's what I was saying. You may be going through a standing phase. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I said in the beginning of this video. Some people here stop growing for a while, then you're going to shed, and then it's going to kick back in. You've been doing it your whole life. You just never noticed it. And please, the things I said, just look it up, guys. So you all know I'm not mm -hmm. talking out of my ass. Like, seriously. <laughs> All right, because I like people to get their own information. And this is the time, definitely, you want to get the diatomaceous earth, right? And you guys who, they saw me do that video about silica. This is the time you want to get that diatomaceous earth. So, because diatomaceous earth works on a cellular level. Cellular is anything gross, hair, skin, nails, bones, all that, right? You want to get a diatomaceous earth and drink that twice a day, right? But yes, I'm going to go drink mine right now. I know that's right. Who said, who said that? Not me. <laughs> oh, you gonna drink yours? Oh, you. You so silly. <laughs> and there's an oil I'm gonna talk about. I'm just waiting. All the people who's using that oil, not the castor, another thing. There's an oil that I have secret. I did not make it. It's a girl that makes it from Nashville. She's gonna be trying it. I'm just waiting. Um, I have a group of people who's using the oil, and then I'm gonna talk about that because I and don't talk about anything. Good proof. Huh? Some of them getting a positive growth. Yeah, positive growth already, like the guy who came yesterday. Okay. Yeah. I'm not going to talk about that oil just yet. That's, that's my hidden secret. But mm -hmm. I need people to use it first, my clients, and then we're going to talk about it, okay? All right, guys. Let me go. Let me start her here. I love you all. Blah, blah, blah. Be blessed. Alafia. That means peace. Ashe.